Hi guys, welcome to another video of New Tricks. Today we're talking about Zen Beats from Roland. Basically their first real app for making music on the iPad and on the iPhone and on the Android and on the Mac and on Windows. So it is for every platform. I would say they're responding to Korg's gadget, which is fine. I mean, uh, the more action we have over there, the more option we'll have as a consumer. So let's see what they're going to come up with. Before we start about Zen Beats, just keep in mind that Zen Beats was before it was bought by Roland, it was called Stage Light. Stage Light was made by Open Labs. Now I'm not sure if Open Labs got bought by Roland or just the app was sold to Roland. Not clear where the line is, but basically um, it's the same thing. I'm gonna you're going to see it's the same software. There's a couple of enhancement with since Roland came in, uh, but basically, you know, they got something that was working already on four different platform and they got it to continue under their name, which is fine. I mean, that's how you go fast. And let's first go through the logic of this. It runs on the, you know, the main platform, Mac, PC, Android, iOS, and now iPad OS, the new that came out. I actually run iPad OS 13 right now, uh, so I'm I'm just testing and see what works and what doesn't. For now, everything seems to work correctly. There's a free version, there's an unlock version, and then there's the ultimate version. Now I have the ultimate version because I already received it from Open Labs, and for any owner of Stagelight you can you go on open lab website and you can actually fill out the information they will give you a key that is encrypted uh, for your account and then when you download the mac or pc version you can take that key put it in in a special order and it will unlock the same level you add if you have the unlock version you'll get the unlock if you have the ultimate you get the ultimate now what are these different versions uh, first of all all platforms so if you have the free you can have the free everywhere pc mac android ios number of track is unlimited so it's basically going to limit by the cpu of your device and there's a bunch of features are basically are the same for everybody the only difference is the amount of track effects slot so the effect slot per track is limited to two on the free version and eight on the unlocked all the ultimate same thing with the sends you can only have two sends on one track and the free version the exporting of stems so that's interesting when you want to mix so if you're looking into having a professional mix you're probably going to want to export in stems so like percussion together uh, bass together voice together whatever it is that you have and then you mix it somewhere else so but if you're just doing for fun you don't need to export a stem so it's not a big deal again and if you want to unlock well you can pay you have ableton link um, you have vst and audio unit support only on the unlock so if you want to use it as a real DAW with your plugins in it, you'll need at least to buy the unlock version. The other difference is the package of sound that comes with it. You only have 400 sounds and loops and presets that comes with the free version. You get up to 2000 for the unlock. You get more than 6000 with the ultimate. Mostly the ultimate is more banks of sounds. One of the sound generator in it is called Sampleverse. Well, it comes with all of them, but it's limited in the synthesis part, you can only like take the sound and play it in the free version. But if you want to tweak the sound and make them your own sounds, then you need at least the unlock or the ultimate. Built-in effects for the free one, you only have four of them. You only have EQ, compressor, delay, and flanger. All the other ones, the, the filter, the bit crusher, the chorus, the limiter, the reverb, the auto filter, the drive, the gator, the auto wall, and the glitch, all of them come only if you buy the unlocked or the ultimate. Then let's actually go in and try Zen Beats. So you get your first window. When you, when you start, you have um, the new song or the open song. The great thing about Zen Beats is if you want to learn how to use it, you press lessons. And there's a lot of lessons here. Uh, and you can always go back to this. And so the intro, the transport, the loop browser, how to edit, um, build the beats, and there's really advanced drum machine takes all of this. And when you play it, it actually runs in the app. So, okay, using the drum, 
it will tell you click next to go next and it tell you okay press play press play drum track double click on it you know okay for this take so many bars i want to do eight bars next add some swing yes drum inspector here it shows you everything you need to know so it's a really cool way to go through and play around with how to create your sound so it's very fast to learn oh you can pan this like this shooting okay so it shows you i'm going to close this for now <clears throat> so it's very fast uh, to learn because there's a lot of the really good videos and how to use it so i'm just going to basically do the tour show you how it works i have the ultimate version so I have, everything is unlocked um, sometimes like this window here in the free version will be locked you would see this but it would be in gray and it would say locked so basically so and you would be able to press and say i want to buy the unlock version the sequencer the top track is the drum and as you go from left to right if i have a new one here then that's a new pattern new pattern new pattern so this is all for the drum well, this one is for the bass this one is for the bass so if i play this i'm going to play the two at the same time and if i play this and this i can play these two separately now they have no sound in it there's nothing's playing let's go back on this one and i can enter if i double click the fact that it's a drum i, I see a drum grid so i go play i get my little okay another if I want to try another sound another kit I go into default and I can just load like this I can just go through them okay I like this one or now I like this one I press play and it will load the samples now, if I double click on this one, I see the information just for the kick and I can automate that's the volume, but I can also click on it and say I want to automate the pitch. Okay, and I can automate you know, subdivise. Okay, so you can play with that. Click again to go back. So I'm gonna go snare, go uh, subdivide. Okay, yeah, like that. So that's for the drum. You can actually go here and see these are notes. These are. Um, just blocks right if you go in the notes you can play with the length of it in the case of the sample so interesting something you can't do with this one that's where it's triggered but it plays that long uh, you can also see more by adding opening this window on the side and then you can Say, well I don't like this it's too long I can actually change here okay I can change the strength so the volume the velocity the move you can move it okay so that's my first drum if I go in the other one under it you have uh, now you have your bass so you enter the note where you want either you you go record oops they're doubling here clear that one 
Here's your bass playing, okay. Now, if you want to play the sound itself, you'll need to go, I usually go by using the other window, which is the mixer window. And that's where you can actually go to plugin and open the plugin and play it, so. Say you want to, you can load different. So because it's a bass, it's all these samples of a bass. Um, but let's say I don't want this. Okay, I'm gonna delete this one. Go here, press on it, and delete the instrument. I'm gonna add the instrument now. At the top, I mean, all of this you have bass, uh, electro composer, guitar, keys, organ, all sounds that you can actually use. Okay, and again, if you're in this one, you can click here and... But let's actually go, whoops, I'm gonna get, delete this one. Delete, and I'm gonna add the sample verse. It's probably the most versatile that they have in it. So, the sample verse, there's a lot of this, a lot of uh, examples patches you can start from. So you hear, I mean, they're using samples. Now, let's actually play with it. Let's go in and, okay. We have the RPG on or off, we have the speed. Okay, the octave, you can have presets. These are the presets of the RPG ears. Okay, filter, put it on. Saturate. Edit, that's where you have the real cool part of it. You have the RPG eater, turn it on. You can actually, actually not on, but open the window. Thank you. 
And for the master, well, you get the reverb on it. If not, you get the filter. And turn off the filter if you don't want it. And if you want, you can add new models. Modules of uh, audio file you record, samples, sample banks. And then at the plugin here section, you go external plugin, and then you have access to everything that is audio unit compatible. So I don't know, let's say I want to play uh, uh, Model D. Here we go. I'm going to load it, and, and it's part of the song now. I pray it. Pray it. I don't know if it's uh, just a bug or if it's part of uh, iOS 13. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it out for now. I'm gonna test it more. But technically, you can load audio unit over there, and then you can load also effects. Same logic, even for the drum. Go audio effects. You can load the effects you want. Are external effects, all of these, or the internal Zen Beats effects. Okay. Um, what else? You have. Uh, also a send. So if you add a send, you add a track, and you put something on the send. So you've got your effects on the send itself, and then you do what you want. Uh, all of these, you can um, freeze them if you want. If your device is having difficulty playing back everything, you can freeze them. And you have this other window here. That's the window like linear time and sequence, whereas this one is the clips, basically, you want to play. So uh, you can record kind of a song here, whereas here you've got the clips you're going to play in real time. So when you push this little thing here on the side, you always have the information of, about what you're clicking on. The drums, the instrument, the track, you can really go here really rapidly. And when it's done, you can share it. Uh, you can share it in a different format of encoding with a name. You can create stems. You can transfer to your computer if you want to with, this, with the name and all that stuff. Uh, so it's pretty powerful. Pretty interesting, well laid out, um, simple enough to get to use it very rapidly. The bundle sounds are good enough to do something. And the sample verse is really powerful. You can create your own stuff. And there is the store for those who want to buy new sounds. And that's where they have, uh, you know, uh, example of the sounds they offer. Of course, Roland as Roland sounds. Um, but I mean, there's there's really a lot of them. Uh, there's presets, there's loops, there's presets you can buy. Uh, presets are a mix of uh, all the sounds are program and samples, and the loops are, well, loops. And what is unlock? So you can see what's when you unlock, you can unlock the iOS. So this is, uh, in this case, from iOS unlock for this one, ultimate unlock for everything. So that's the one I have. A good first. Uh, DAW for anybody to start with because it's free and it's full of options and it actually uh, can move your file from your computer to your uh, to your portable iPad, iOS, Android, whatever it is. And when you want to go further, you buy the unlock, which is still not so much when you think about it. If you buy the ultimate, you have it all of them unlocked. So it's pretty, pretty cool. So I'm going to play more with this one and uh, see if the bug I have now with the, the notes sticking, it's new since I updated to 13. So 
might wait a little bit before you update the 13 iOS for now. That's it. Cheers.